feel like being this close to my face? Does it bring you comfort? Does it bring you joy? Does it bring you relief and happiness? That's weird, that's weird. Hi, good morning, how you doing? Bless boy, you ready to work out buddy? Come on. It's time to get fit. I'm just gonna do my leg workout. Good morning, how you guys doing today? How's life? How you feeling? Tell me about yourself. What are your troubles? What are your dreams? What are your aspirations? What are you gonna do to take the next step in your journey to happiness? Tell me about it, I wanna hear. Tell me. In the comments below, because I can't hear you. You're talking to your computer. Good, did you know that actually talking out loud can calm you and um, make you more confident? So, like, just talking out loud to yourself? I do it all the time. Maybe because I vlog? That's why I'm, like, stupidly confident. Like, I'm too confident for myself. I shouldn't be this confident. My ego is ridiculous. I literally think it's because I vlog. I'm just constantly talking to myself. Well, cool. So, if you want to boost your confidence, become a vlogger. <laughs> I'm going to work out, bye. I left my camera in the gym. I worked out. Um, oh, God, no, it's dirty. It's dirty. I didn't leave in the gym. That was a lie. I left it in the office. Hi, handsome. Hello. Well, that was dramatic. Workout was good. My body is sore, but I'm slowly building my muscle back up. You guys don't care. This is just me talking. Um, but now I'm gonna hit the shower. Actually, I'm gonna walk the dogs and hit the showers because we're actually going to Santa Barbara today. We're gonna see my parents. I have my mom's folding table I need to drop off. But then also we wanna go to the Levi's store because I have a bunch of Levi's I ordered that I don't want and I can return them to the store and then we're gonna try and find some pants that we actually like. I want a pair of white wash. No, a pair of light blue denim jeans um, that are super like baggy, but look good, you know? And I want them long. So uh, we're gonna try and figure out my sizing at Levi's. Um, Abby and I wear almost the exact same size. So a lot of time we just get a pair of pants if it's both of us and we just share them. But anyway, that's the plan for today. Noopis, are you a big noop? You're the biggest noop. That's my plan. So I'm gonna go now and shower, but I thought I'd let you know before I leave what we're doing. What's the plan? Tell me if you like it. Do you like the plan? Do, hold on. You wanna to go to Santa Barbara with me? Let me know. Let's have a heart to heart. Let's go. What are your feelings on my day? What are you doing with your day? Are you gonna have a productive day? Or, you know what? A lazy day is a productive day for your soul. But make sure you don't do it in abundance. Not a bunch of lazy days because then you'll start feeling a little down. Everything in moderation. Lazy days in moderation, productive days, exciting days. Let's level it out. Let's balance and never mistake peace for boredom. These are wise words. Maybe if you want them to be, depends how you receive them. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, I'm just talking about absolutely nothing. Okay, good heart to heart. See you later. We're having a lot of these today. I like it. To Santa Barbara. <laughs> I'm at my parents. Abby and I went to the Levi store and I got very discouraged. Uh, discouraged, there's a D at the end. So I bought a bunch of Levi's from Levi's store online on Black Friday because they were on sale. And I'm a, in women's, I'm a 2932. I ordered a bunch of women's in 2932 and they all came and they're all like flutters. They all go up to like here on me. And I was like, I don't want that. I want my pants to touch like the bottom of my foot. Even these are too short for me now. So Abby was like, let's just order a bunch of guys because we like guy pants fit, the fit of guy pants better anyway. I was like, okay. So we ordered a bunch of 2932s on, on the men's from Levi's. They all got delivered and they were too tight on the waist. Like, and they were all just weird. We didn't like any of them. And they weren't all what they looked like in the on the pictures and whatever. And we're like, we just need to go into the store. So we grabbed all the Levi's, came to Santa Barbara because that's the closest Levi's store. And returned them all there. And then we were tried on pants for an hour and discovered in men's, I'm a 3034. <laughs> and in women's, I'm a 2934. But those don't exist. Those just don't exist. Isn't that cute, guys? I spent an hour trying on pants and my size, I found, doesn't exist. So Abby found a couple of pairs that work for her. I did find some that work for me, um, but it's, it's not what I wanted. You know when you have some in your brain, like an article of clothing you really, really want and you can't get it and it frustrates you? I got discouraged and frustrated. But we're gonna go to a different place tomorrow uh, for like work pants kind of stuff. <coughs> 
and see if we can get anything there. But yeah. And now I'm at my parents because I came to Santa Barbara. And look, my mom put up a Christmas tree. Did you buy that? Yes, I Trent always buys the Christmas tree. It's beautiful. And there's tiny little snowflakes on the ceiling. You can't really see, but they're there. And that's always up. Oh, I love it. It's cute. All right, Abby's actually doing therapy in the car right now. She forgot she had a virtual therapy session at three. It's three thirty, so I'm just waiting for her to be done. So I had my parents, and then we're gonna head back because she has a friend coming over later this evening, and I want to make potato soup. Those two things are not related. My brain decided to tell you both at the same time. Hi, home from Santa Barbara. It was grand and glorious. I don't have a hair tie. Where's my hair tie? It's in the bathroom. Hold on, I'm about to cook, so I need a hair tie. Today, we are making green curry potato soup. You need three medium potatoes, peeled and cubed. Then you need one cup cauliflower and one cup broccoli. A half of red bell pepper, sliced. Half a cup of vegetable stock. All right, now is the tricky part. You close this, seal that, and then you go manual for three minutes. Pressure cook, yes. High pressure, normal. Okay, do it. Good, go. And then once that is done, I add the rest, which I will prepare now, which is half a cup of frozen corn, half a cup of frozen peas, two tablespoons of green curry paste, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one cup of coconut milk, and two cups of vegetable stock, more if needed. Salt to taste. I hate that line, salt to taste. Who's taste? I can't taste if it's salted enough. Okay. All right, now we gotta release the steam. I just realized I never put my apron on. So while I was, so, hi, so while I was waiting for that to do all that stuff, I, um, prepared all of the ingredients in this bowl, which was the corn, peas, onion powder, garlic powder, and curry paste. So all of that goes in there, okay? And then two cups vegetable stock. Ooh. And then now I need one cup coconut milk. Let's just shake these things up. It's just to shake it, shake it real good. I shook it earlier. Let's see if this looks good. Really hardened. Okay, one sec. Yeah, so coconut milk separates. Oh God, I'm just gonna put the whole thing in. We're just gonna wing this. There we go. Oh. Now you stir it till it's done. Shablam over rice. Hello. Look at this fire. This might be my favorite thing about winter is our fireplace. I absolutely love it. It sets a mood, it calms me, it's pretty, it's warm. It's just all together, yes. Um, please withhold comments about how it's like probably bad for the environment or whatever. We're gonna let that one slide. It, mental health for me. It's health, mental is up here, not here. This is emotional, this is mental. Um, they work together. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my curry soup potato stuff was absolutely delicious. It was spicier than I remember. It calls for two tablespoons of green curry paste, which I put in, but next time I think I'm gonna do one. Abby handles spice real well. She likes spice. And she was like, yeah, that's, it's, she's like, it's delicious, but it is very spicy. So I think I'm just gonna do one tablespoon next time. I really don't remember it being that spicy, but whatever. Maybe I didn't put in two last time. <sighs> I'm sweeping. Sparks and ash, hello. But uh, Abby's friend, Jack, came over for a bit and she just left. And Abby and I are hungry again. So we're probably gonna eat something and watch, I believe the last episode of Wednesday. We're obsessed with the show Wednesday. It's on Netflix, spinoff of Adam's Family. We watched, this will be the third night and I think we're gonna be done with the season. <coughs> we love it. Anyway, that's it. Okay, I'll talk to you later.